I call this one, you don't have to believe me. Look it up. If you're looking for facts to back up your fight against the GOP's lies and propaganda, you may want to listen to this very carefully. Now, I found this on Facebook, and I'm just going to read it to you, but just bear with me. During his 2016 campaign, Trump made a lot of promises and has continued to make promises ever since. Now Trump is asking voters to give him another four years. So it's only fair to take a look at those promises and see what he actually did or did not do in the four years, in his first four years as president. After all, aren't we supposed to judge people, our political leaders, by what they did rather than what they say? Let's keep in mind that the Republicans control both the House and the Senate during the first four years of the Trump regime. In two year, I'm sorry, the first two years of the Trump regime, and they still control the Senate. So passing legislation would be no problem if Trump and the Republicans truly wanted to do so. So let's take a look at the facts and see how Trump really did on all the major issues. Healthcare. Trump promised that within 100 years, I'm sorry, 100 days within his off in office, he would repeal and replace the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, with something with something terrific. In 2017, he told the Washington Post that he was close to completing his health care plan and that he wanted to provide insurance for everybody. But over the last three years, Trump has said over a dozen times that the plan was coming in two weeks. I'm going to read that again. Over the last three years, Trump has said over a dozen times that the plan was coming in two weeks. Instead, since Trump took office, 7 million Americans have lost their health insurance and he has asked the Supreme Court to strike down on the Affordable Care Act in the middle of a global pandemic with no plan to replace it. Pre-existing conditions. Trump promised to protect Americans with pre-existing conditions. Instead, the Trump and the Justice Department are trying to repeal the entire Affordable Care Act which will instantly remove all protections for people with pre-existing conditions. Trump, Trump promised to bring down the price of prescription drugs and said that drug companies were getting away with murder. They still are, because drug prices continue to soar. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. Trump said that he wouldn't cut Social Security like every other Republican. Trump's latest budget includes billions in cuts to Social Security. Medicare. Trump promised, I'm not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid. Trump's latest budget includes billions of cuts to both, while Americans are in the grip, while this country is in the grip of a pandemic. Trump promised to eliminate the United States debt of $19 trillion. How did he do? Trump's 2017 tax cut for the rich asked only add $1.5 trillion more to the debt. Trump has increased our national debt every year he's been in office. And America's debt as of October 2020 stands at $27 trillion the largest debt of American history. Eliminate the deficit. Trump promised to do that and also to balance the federal budget. How did he do? Trump increased the federal budget a deficit in every year he's been in office and is currently running the largest federal budget deficit in American history. Let's use this for context. The last president who actually balanced the budget and left a record surplus was the president they all hate, as much as they hate Barack Obama. 
Bill Clinton. George Bush then spent all the money on wars, on tax cuts, and created a recession and record deficit. The last Republican president who actually balanced the federal uh, budget was Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1959. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. Tax cuts. He promised they would cut your taxes and that the super rich would pay more. But he did the exact opposite. In 2020, the richest 1% will receive a total of $78 billion in tax cuts from the Trump GOP tax law. That's about the same amount as the entire bomb 80% taxpayers will get. 79% of tax be- cut benefits for white taxpayers, while only 5% benefits for black taxpayers. As a result, Trump of his ta- of his tax co- I'm sorry tax cuts from Trump for corporations, 91 Fortune 500 companies paid no corporate income taxes in 2018. 379 other Fortune 500 companies paid an effective federal income tax rate of just 11.3%. Trump also promised that the average American would see a $4,000 pay raise because of his tax cuts for the wealthy and the corporations. It never happened. Nothing trickled down. Wages for the most Americans have barely kept up with inflation. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Obama created more jobs than Trump. And that's not even counting the Corona-19 situation. During the final three years of his presidency, Obama added 1.5 million more jobs than Trump added in his his three years in office. Trump said corporations would use their tax cuts to invest in American workers and create more jobs and increase the wage. They didn't happen. Corporations spent more of their tax savings buying back shares of their own stock and increasing work rate, workers' rate, wages. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. Economic growth. Trump said he would boost economic growth by 4% a year versus Obama's 2.3% during his last three years. Instead, the soaring economy Trump inherited from Obama stayed at 2.5% for the first for Trump's first years, then stalled and unemployment soared to its highest level since the Great Depression. Net economic growth under Trump is now minus zero. The stock market. People continue to believe the myth that Trump has created the greatest gains in the stock market versus Obama. But facts are facts. Trump inherited the longest stock market rally in history, which started during the first eight years of Obama. To date, Trump has grown the market by 44%, which is good, but Obama grew the market by a whopping 400 and not, I'm sorry, 149%. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. Russia Gate. Robert Mueller's investigation into Russia's interference of the 2016 election resulted in the indictments of 34 people. His report listed 10 separate counts of obstruction of justice by Trump himself. Eight of Trump's top up advisors who served at the White House or worked in campaigns there have been prosecuted for those crimes. You don't have to believe me? Look it up. Drain the Swamp. 
Trump promised repeatedly that he would drain the swamp, but instead, he's brought more billionaires, more CEOs, and Wall Street moguls into his administration than any other in history. And it's continued to fill his departments and agencies with lobbyists, lawyers, and consultants who are crafting policies for the same industries they used to work for. Trump said he would hire only the best people. He has fired more of his cabinet members and White House picks than any president in history. Seven of them have been charged with crimes. You have to believe me. Look it up. The wall. The big, beautiful wall. Trump promised to build the wall across the entire United States-Mexican border, which is over two, which is almost 2,000 miles long. It repeatedly claimed that Mexico, the Mexican government, would pay for it. As of September 2020, the official Trump campaign called Promises Kept makes no mention of any way in which the Mexico has or will contributed in any way. Cost estimates for the American taxpayer have ranged from $28.1 billion to $70 billion. The United States Customs and Border Protection, which is overseeing wall construction, reported that $11 billion of our tax money has been budgeted since Trump took office to construct 560, I'm sorry, 76 miles of a new wall, border wall system, which takes out 20 million per mile. Trump has caused the longest government shutdown in national history when he couldn't get funding from Congress for his wall. As of May of 2020, only three miles of new wall had been built on fresh ground, and some of that blew over in a 35 mile power wind. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. Immigration. His unprecedented policy to separate families at the border and to lock children in cages continues to be a massive assault on human rights and decency. As of the writing of the Trump administration, Asian cannot find the parents of four of five hundred and forty five children who remain in cages even now. Their parents were likely deported without their children. You have to believe me. If you have a soul left, you'll look it up. DACA, the Dreamers Act. He promised to end DACA but the Supreme Court ruled that his plan was unconstitutional and DACA still stands. Look it up. And speaking of which, lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Didn't happen. Meanwhile, Donald Trump's, and the reason why they scream lock her up is because Clinton used a private cell email server. Meanwhile, he uses his personal cell phone for official government business, and several members of his own administration, including his boy-in-law, his daughter he wants to sleep with, have used private email and unsecured messenger apps while discussing classified information. Maybe we should start saying, lock up Kushner, lock up Ivanka, lock up up Donald. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. The tax returns. Ooh, the tax returns. He promised that if he was elected, he would, he would release the tax returns. He didn't only break that promise. His lawyers have gone to the Supreme Court to fight against it. Now, Tax returns from Trump obtained by the New York Times show that Trump paid over 70 
$750 in taxes in 2016 and 2017 and paid no taxes in 10 years, I'm sorry, 10 of the previous 15 years. Let me reread that. Trump's tax returns obtained by the New York Times show that Trump paid only $750 in taxes in, in 2016 and 2017 and paid no taxes in 10 of the 15 previous years. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. North Korea. He promised to end Kim Jong-un's nuclear program after exchanging love letters and photo ops with him and that elevated Kim's status globally. Kim has exploded expanded in North Korea's nuclear program since the day Trump took office. In 2020, October of 2020, Kim pardoned some of his nuclear IC, I'm sorry, paraded some of his nuclear ICBM missiles through the streets in a show of power. What has Donald Trump done about it? Nothing. Iran. He promised to negotiate a better nuclear deal with them. But instead, he simply pulled the United States out of the negotiations and out of the deal and have gone nowhere. Iran has no new lim limits of its nuclear program and is enriched in uranium. Think thanks a lot, Trump. Term limits for Congress. He promised to enact term limits for all members of Congress. He never even tried to do this. Not once. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. Infrastructure. Trump promised to invest $550 billion to rebuild the country's decaying infrastructure. Thing is, the Republicans blocked Obama's infrastructure bill. The Democrats were close with a deal with Trump, but Trump abruptly pulled out of the deal over what he called their phony investigation of him. Many roads, bridges, and other structures are in worse state now than they were four years ago. Nothing has been done, and no bill is pending in Congress. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. American workers. He promised to be the voice of the American worker. Instead, his administration has stripped workers of their rights, upheld overtime protections, attacked unions, rolled back worker workplace safety rules, and turned a blind eye to employers who steal their wages. You don't have to look at me. You don't have to believe me in any of this. Look it up. Golf, the big one, golf. Trump criticized Obama regularly for going while he was president and promised on the campaign trail that he would have no time to play golf if he was elected president. Instead, Trump has spent all or part of 248 days on the golf course, more than any president has in history. And the total financial cost of American taxpayers is more than $150 million. Look it up. Don't believe me. Look it up. While in office, the Obama family took a toll of 90, 933 trips protected by Secret Service. In his first two years, the Trump family have take, has taken 3,249 protected trips, much of which promoted Trump organizational businesses, which Trump still owns and profits from. Your tax dollars at work. Trump and his family frequently trips to conduct private businesses at Trump-branded properties around the world, putting taxpayers directly into the coffers of the Trump Organization. You don't have to believe me? Look it up. 
Trump promised to reduce our trade deficit with China and that China would pay off pay the tariffs on imported goods. But instead, Trump's trade war has cost consumers $34 billion a year, an estimated 300,000 American jobs, and cost taxpayers $22 billion in subsidies for farmers hurt by the tariffs. So what happened to the trade deficit? It actually increased under Trump. By the end of 2018, it was $422 billion. It's only decreasing because of the coronavirus, COVID-19 virus restrictions. Bringing home the troops. He promised that he would bring them home from overseas. And in September of 2020, during a town hall event broadcast on ABC, Trump said, We're almost done. We're almost out of every place. Trump actually ordered more troops home to be deployed overseas during his term, but has stated withdrawing some troops as we get closer to the election. The net result, according directly from the Department of Defense, which when Obama took office, we had over 375,000 troops deployed overseas. By 2016, Obama had brought 175,000 troops home. When Trump took office, we had 200,000 troops deployed overseas, and now we have 175,000 troops home. And he's only brought home 25,000 troops. 25,000. You have to look at me. You don't have to believe me in any of this. Look it up. Trump put, pledged to put America first. America first. Instead, he deferred to dictators and authoritarians at America's expense, strengthening their global positions while shunning and abandoning our allies. America first. Unless you happen to be Donald Trump. It's Trump first, everyone else, else regardless. College tuition. Trump promised to, to push colleges to cut skyrocketing cost of tuition. Instead, he made it easier for for-profit colleges to defraud students and tuition is still rising. Trump is pulling out of Trump pulling America out of the climate accords from Paris promised that he would renegotiate a better deal for the environment. He's never attempted to negotiate any deal. Sexual assault. No less than 26 women have accused Trump of sexual misconduct. Trump promised that he would, that the women accused of him would be sued after the election was over but Trump has never brought any lawsuits, presumably because he doesn't want the whole truth to come out. You don't have to believe me. Look this up. Research all of them. Why would they lie about this? Look it up. The coronavirus pandemic. Now we're getting to the meat, the real meat. Although Trump knew how dangerous this was, Back in February, Trump still has taken, has never taken one action, domestic action, not domestic action, to combat this virus. No federal mandates for masks, or social distancing or contact tracing. Trump's lack of action has killed almost 250,000 Americans, and that number is still climbing. That's more dead American deads deaths than the First World War, the Vietnam War, the September 11th attacks, the Iraq and Afghanistan wars combined. The same day that Trump was on the debate stage telling people, we're rounding the corner, we're rounding the corner, it's going to go away, it's going to disappear, it's going to be like a miracle, we're rounding the corner. The United States set 
a new record for the highest number of COVID deaths in a single day. Trump promised that anyone who wants a test for COVID will get one and it will be free. Most Americans still can't get a test and it sure wasn't free. Paid maternity leave. I know this is just a small stuff, but let's keep going. He made the promise. I'm going to oh, talk about it. Paid maternity leave. Donald Trump promised six weeks of paid maternity leave to any mother with a newborn child whose employer does not provide the benefits. But once in office, he apparently forgot about this and has made no beha- efforts on behalf of maternity leave. The conflict of interests. Trump promised he would distance himself from his business while he was in office. Well, we know how that went, don't we? Trump entered office owing $420 million in debt, mostly to foreign entities. And the Trump organization has made more money since he took office than ever before. He continues to make money from his properties and maintains his grip on his real estate empire. A list of conflicts would be too long to print right here. In fact, in 2019, Trump actually called the Foreign Emoluments Clause, which is in the United States Constitution, phony. His word. Phony. The opioid crisis. Trump promised to end it, and again, he did nothing. Americans are more likely to die from an opioid overdose than a car accident. Made in America. He said he would keep jobs in America. He said he forced companies to keep jobs in America. Let me put it that way. And there would be consequences for companies that ship jobs abroad. Since he took office, companies in this country, such as GM, Carrier, Ford, and Harley Davidson, have continued to outsource or thousands of jobs. While we still receive massive tech, while they still receive massive tax breaks. And by offshoring federal government contractors have actually increased during Trump's term. Again, you don't have to believe me on anything I said here. Just look it up and you'll find it. Promises made, promises not kept. That's the reality of the Donald Trump regime. CTP, know the truth, God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right. Save our nation.